Hey guys, how you going? Uh, my name is Dom and in this video I would like to discuss the insert adjacent HTML method inside the JavaScript document object model. Um, so basically this method right here allows you to insert um, HTML adjacently to a element. Okay, so it works very similar to the inner HTML um, property um, but this one uh, gives you greater control of where the HTML will sit and also it adds a bonus feature of not actually disrupting um, any of the child elements. Okay, so let's see how this thing actually works. Um, so inside the source code for this document, um, it looks like this. So I've got this little comment right here. Um, which describes the positions of where um, you can insert your HTML with this method, but we'll discuss these later on. Um, for now, I'm going to make a new paragraph tag inside the body. So let's make a new P right there and give it an ID of my para. Okay, inside here, I'll write some text. I'm also going to wrap this text um, with an EM tag. Okay, to make it italic or emphasized. Okay, so if I was to save this and refresh the browser, we get this right here. Okay, so we have this paragraph tag. So um, we're going to use this insert adjacent HTML method on this element right here. Okay, this paragraph element um, to insert a strong tag um, in one of four different positions. Okay, so back inside the um, source code, let's make use of um, these four positions and also the insert adjacent HTML method. So the first thing to do is to actually get a reference to the my para um, paragraph. So let's make a new constant down here and we'll call this one my para, which is equal to document.getElementById and we're gonna pass in my para right there. So now, um, this constant refers to this paragraph tag right there. So because this is an actual element, we can use this method um, directly. So down here, let's call the insert adjacent HTML method on this paragraph. So we're going to say my para, okay, dot insert adjacent HTML. So this method takes in two arguments, the first one being the position of where to insert the HTML string. Okay, so um, you have four options up here. And um, the thing is, in the documentation, it says position as the first argument. It suggests that it's gonna be like a number, but it's actually one of these strings. So you have four options right here. So um, the before begin um, option allows you to insert the element um, before this element right there. Um, after begin means the first child before end inserts as the last child and after end inserts as um, after the element has um, finished off. Okay, so um, let's choose for now the um, before begin position. Okay, then put a comma and then insert our HTML string. So we're going to insert the strong tag. Okay, and as the text would just say decode. All right, so we can see here, very similar to the inner HTML property. Okay, so um, here we're inserting this HTML, which will be passed by the browser, um, displayed and inserted into the actual um, document object model. And that's gonna be inserted before the beginning of this MyPara element. Okay, so if I was to save this and refresh the browser, we get that right there. So we can see this strong tag is inserted before the paragraph. Um, in the actual element section here, we can see we have this strong tag which sits before the paragraph. So you can see how it works right there. Let's now explore um, these positions right here. So let's change this to after begin. Okay, I can save this and refresh this time the strong gets inserted um, uh, as the first child of the paragraph tag. So just after the paragraph tag begins, okay? We also have the before end. Copy this, paste it inside here and refresh. This time, 
um, decode strong tag gets inserted um, as the last child of the paragraph. Okay, so before it actually ends. And finally, we have the after end. So I can copy this and paste it inside here. This time, after end will insert the strong tag after the paragraph tag has finished off right there. So we can see it's a lot more powerful and um, flexible compared to the inner HTML method, sorry, property. Um, so it actually comes with one more advantage, and that being that it's not going to disrupt any of the child elements. So um, if you were to add um, event listeners to any children of the paragraph tag, um, and then you use the inner HTML um, property, then those event listeners will be killed off and you need to um, reinsert it. Okay, so um, let's see this uh, with an example. So back inside here, if I was to um, get a reference to the EM um, of the paragraph, so let's make a new constant um, down here and we'll call this one EM equal to uh, my para dot query selector we're going to pass em inside here so now um, this em constant refers to that em right there so let's add an event listener to the em so I'm gonna say em dot add event listener we're gonna add the click event to that okay and we can simply just console dot log the event um, instance when we click on it so I'll also just get rid of this adjacent stuff, so I'll comment that out. Okay, so if I was to save this and refresh the browser and then click on this EM in the console, we get the mouse event. So we can see it works just fine. So if I was to now use the inner HTML property to add this strong HTML um, uh, appended to the HTML, so for example, if I was to say uh, my para dot inner html plus equals and then uh, copy that right there so I'm appending this html using um, the inner html property um, if I was to save this and refresh and then click on the text we get no console log so um, basically when you set the inner html property on the parent um, all the child event listeners will um, be removed um, automatically so that is a um, that is a flaw or I guess just a um, just a negative feature of the inner HTML property but the insert adjacent HTML property doesn't actually do that so let's get rid of this right here and bring back the insert adjacent HTML and make this um, before end to achieve the same effects okay if I was to save this and refresh the browser, now we get the same result and the event listener is preserved on the EM child. Okay, so that right there is how you can use the insert adjacent HTML method inside the JavaScript document object model. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.